Hi guys. <laughs> How are you? Oh wow, it's been a while, huh? My hair is kind of a mess. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna wait for some people to get on and um, see that I'm on, on live. I have friend mail, I have some updates, I have some fall decor crafts that I want to talk about with you, I have um, oh, chit chat, hi Cheryl, oh hi Cheryl, you are a new subscriber, thank you and hello, <laughs> I hope there's not too much of, oh hi Cindy from New Jersey, I hope there's not too much lighting from the background. Um, so I, gosh, I haven't done a live in like two weeks and I wanted to catch up with you all and tell you what's been going on. I have some friend mail. Hi, Janet. Oh, I know, first day of fall, it's cooked down in Kentucky, finally. Cooked down, you mean like a contest cooked down? How fun. What do you guys cook for fall and your cook down? Hi, Beatrice. Oh, good, I'm so glad. Oh, cool down, okay. <laughs> Cindy, how's the weather in New Jersey? I know it's like usually hot like it is here. Oh my gosh, hi, Maria. Oh, how are you, Maria? I'm so glad you caught this. It must be so late there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I, um, gosh, I have a lot to catch up with you all. It's cool today. It's hot here, but I mean, it's not unbearable. So, uh, I can live with it. <laughs> I can for sure live with it. But, um, I'm having to wear my glasses so I can see the comments that you all are leaving and I have some friend mail and Maria had recently sent me some friend mail that was amazing and I have it scattered throughout my house everywhere because I love everything she sent me and I have friend mail for you too Maria I'm sorry I haven't sent it yet I meant to like two weeks ago but uh, uh, if you guys have watched some of my videos something really tragic has happened and um, I wasn't really able to do anything, you know, um, I was just trying to understand what had happened and cope with it. So um, I apologize, but I've been really um, bad about my comments, you know, and I love your comments. That's like what I love all about you guys. And uh, I'm catching up though, and um, little by little, but you know, I have, so many things that like I want to talk to you guys about and explain what had happened and um, share my friend mail that I got from uh, thank you Janet <laughs> uh, I got this lovely package from oh thank you Maria oh it's midnight shoot okay I'm gonna go fast then <laughs> Um, I got a lovely package from, um, thank you, Cheryl. <sighs> you know, I'm a really positive person and I, I'm very passionate and I love the people that are in my circle. I'm very loyal and I care about everybody. I pray and I pray for animals and people, but, um, I, I didn't foresee this coming. I don't think anyone could have, but, um, what had happened was, uh, I have a very dear friend, her name is Lori also, and I've known her since I was 15. My sister and I, her and my sister are of the same age, they're like a year apart. My sister is five years older than me, my friend is six years older than me. And um, my sister and her went to opposing high schools, and they knew each other well. And they worked together um, in their early, late teens, early 20s, and then I came along and worked at the same place, and that was so much fun. It was at a gym, 
and oh my gosh you guys we had such a good time everyone was it was just so fun and this would have been probably um in for me the almost in almost 1990 uh because i was born in 72 but i started working there when i was 15. and oh, we had so much fun all of us and um I got to know her really, really well. She was very accomplished, came from a very good family. Um, she has four brothers and two of them were doctors and two are lawyers. And uh, she was a teacher. She was the only girl in the family. So we really formed really great bonds because you know she was the only girl in the family. So she considered me a sister and, and I considered her a sister. And as the years went on, it was even stronger. So um, she was a teacher and she was an, like an honored, um, she got all these awards for being a teacher. She was so caring and loving and did a lot of community work and um, a really good person, super good person. I got the news on one day that, um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try not to cry, but it's gonna be really hard, um, that she had been killed. And they didn't know who it was, but they had suspects and, um, they're still working on it. Thank you, Bumby. Thank you, Cheryl. And what's so hard about it is that it was so horrific. I mean, it's one thing to lose somebody and that's horrible. I mean, I lost my mom and that was horrible, you know, but she was sick and it was still horrible and hard. And then um, with her, I mean, she was 52. She had everything going for her and she was such a good person. And um, thank you, Janet. I know what it is. It's so sad. She was such a good person. She was like the glue to her family. And she was like this teacher that was awarded for taking these kids from not even being able to read and they kept moving her with the grades with them and these kids became honor students and got degrees and so on and so forth it was amazing so she's this beautiful person and she was killed and so um that is hard to take but not only just that it was just in a really horrific way that I can't even talk about. And, oh, thank you, Selena. I feel so sorry for her family. They are in shock. I'm in shock. I'm trying to like have a sense of normalcy and just go about my day and just, you know, I'm, mo I'm mourning, obviously, but um, it's like taking over. It's such a struggle and, um, I wish I didn't know the details, but in a way I'm glad because I wanted to know her final hours and um, I haven't heard anything recently, but it has like really affected me and um, our poor family, <laughs> I can't imagine what they must be going through. Um, so that's part of it. That's what's been going on. And um, that's why it's been so hard for me. I, I didn't even appear in videos for the first week because I just um, I wanted to keep busy, but I couldn't. My, my face was so swollen. My eyes were like swollen almost shut all the time because I kept crying. I just don't understand this act that had happened to her. And um, her family has asked me not to say anything in particular about it because they are investigating it. 
And um, so I, it's been really tough, but um, thank you, Beatrice. Thank you so much. I mean, it's been horrible, horrible. I wouldn't wish this on anybody, <laughs> you know, what, what had happened to her. So hi, Joshua. <laughs> so I'm trying to cope and deal with it. And, um, you know, I got a friend package from somebody and, um, I, I have a feeling we have a T R O L L S. So if someone can maybe take care of that. In, if it gets a little out of hand, <laughs> I hope you guys know how to, to um, take care of them. I think Beatrice, you probably do, being on Jones and all that. But so I was supposed to send, I told Melanie Kate, which if you guys have not seen her beautiful channel, you need to go check it out. I'll link it after the video. Um, it's just called Melanie Kate. And uh, her and I did a collab together and we had so much fun. Um, I told her sending her a package and then she said, I'm sending you a package. And I said, oh, what's, we're gonna, you're gonna get it the same time I get yours, you know? Well, it didn't work out that way because I ended up finding out the news, what had happened with my friend. And so Mariah, or Maria from London, that's why I haven't really been, um, I, I didn't wanna tell you prior to your interview in Scotland, I didn't want it to be, you know, a downer. Thank you, Cindy. I know. Bless her soul. Bless her soul. So, um, I did receive a package from dear little Melanie Kate. And go check out her channel. She's in the UK. She's adorable. And I really love how people live in other countries because um, I do plan on retiring in Europe somewhere. I don't uh, probably specifically Italy. Hey, Dal, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for your lovely emails. Um, I can't even remember, to be honest, if I've replied to them. That's how, like, off I am. Um, so she, I did get her, her, met her package, and uh, she had it certified, which is really expensive. I did. See, I can't even remember what I've done. Some people say things that I did in a, a video and that I said, and I'm like, I said that? Oh, I, I don't remember saying it. You know, it was not nothing negative. Oh, thank you, Maria. So <laughs> I had to go pick up from the post office and she sent me this package here from, um, it's, she lives in the town of, or it's in the UK, but I, um, I can't remember. It's like a county. I can't remember the county because it go by, it goes by counties, but we had talked about her doing these beautiful little, um, fabric cards and she sent me one. She hasn't done. Hi, Maria from Arizona. How are you? <laughs> I, I'm i doing better. I am, but it's still kind of been difficult. If you go back and watch the video, you'll find out. Well, I think I told you, Maria. Um, but my friend Melanie, who has a channel, and I'll link her down below. It's just MelanieKate.com. Or, uh, yeah, it's just Melanie Kate on YouTube. I'm sorry. She sent me this beautiful little card. That's my cat getting mad at my dog. And hey, you guys, the puppy is like chasing the cats. But it's this beautiful, it's like stitched on there. I love this look and she's really into cacti. I couldn't have received this at a better time, honestly. Um, and then what she says in it, it was just so sweet and amazing. And so she made this card and I told her she needs to do like um, an Etsy shop for it. And Maria, Arizona, you need to sell your rag um, garlands. Hello ladies, Lord, this is freehand. Oh, okay, it is freehand stitching, okay. Um, 
on Etsy or something. And Maria from London, you, I know you have an Etsy shop and you do really beautiful work. Oh my gosh, you really do need like um, a shop. But look at how adorable, the different fabrics. Isn't that so cute? She really loves cacti. And Maria in London, you know cactus do not grow in London, right? <laughs> or succulents. So it's so sweet that she's really into it. And this card is beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to like clean my glasses because my tears are kind of like getting splattering my um, glasses. All right. Okay, so beautiful card and only in pots. Oh, they do grow there. Okay. Uh, they grow so easily here. And I'm sure Maria in Arizona, they grow really easily in Arizona also. We like to eat the little fruits that come off of um, these little fruits that come off of the big cactus. They're called tunas or cactus pears. Oh, they're so good. They're they're um, they're so juicy. Oh my gosh, they're like almost like watermelon. Oh, and indoors, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, Maria from London. I'm so glad you could join us. I know it's so late there, so I'm I'm gonna try to kind of speed this up. Okay. So this was the box. Oh yeah, the, the little cactus pears. Um, oh my goodness, they're so good and juicy. They almost taste like watermelon. <gasps> they're so good. Because we had some growing in our um, backyard. They were delicious. Really, You have to be careful when you peel them, of course, because they have big, you know, pricklies on them. So I saw, I didn't open this yet, but she got me this little bag which is adorable because it has a little dog on it and it says woof <laughs> and it says call me which I always tell people call me <laughs> and let's see oh my goodness there's a lot in here so there's another note I don't, I don't know if she wants me to read this. Um, okay, so it, it explains everything. Hi, Davida, AKA Martha Stewart. <laughs> so this little bag she got me and it's from, she says from Radley, a well-known British brand, okay. Cool, it's so cute. I because I do reuse canvas bags to take my groceries, like get my groceries in. Because I, I only go shopping maybe once every week or two weeks to get my fresh vegetables. All right, so oh, that's pretty. What is it? Oh my gosh, it's an L by Hobbycraft. I think Hobbycraft is like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And it's an L. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. Oh, it is Mariah or Maria? Dang it, why do I keep calling you Mariah? I'm sorry, Maria from London. I, I think of it like your name. I've been calling you all these months in my head, Mariah. <laughs> wow, look how pretty. It's just so intricate. I love it. I'm going to have to put this on something. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you, Melanie. Okay. Then it says, um, Okay, so the next thing she says that this bracelet she made herself. Now, I know she's into beading and creating her own jewelry. Look at this. I love blues, you guys. Blues and silvers. And she made this with these beautiful beads. And the little heart says made with love on both sides. I don't know if you could see that. But um, having gained weight, I've got fat wrists. <laughs> <laughs> so this fits me so well and oh it's so pretty these beads let me show you 
So it's like um, those royal blue beads and then these beautiful beads with like, I don't know if you could see that, little flowers on them. How pretty. This is so beautiful. I'm going to have to wear this right now. I love wearing blues and purples and burnt orange. I know, Davida, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? Okay, so this must be from her craft store that she talked about. I know it does. <laughs> so pretty. Um, it says her craft shop failed or had nothing. Okay, so she doesn't really mention this, but it's 12 wooden frames. And they're stained on the edges. I'm gonna open it up. How cool would that be if you could put like, oh, that's so cool. You could put like pictures of your dog. Okay, so it has this on one side. I don't know if that's like a sticky, no, it's not. So it has like the geometric design on one side and then wood on the other. I like this side. So what if you put like your pictures of your dog or your kids and then put a backing on it and then a, a magnet? Wouldn't these be cute little magnets for your refrigerator? And there's 12 of them. Oh, there's different designs. Okay, so there's these. Oh, ornaments, awesome idea, Maria. Okay, so there's, that's a great idea. This design, I really love this one. And this design, look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. These would make really good Christmas ornaments also. Thank you, Melanie, you're so sweet. She's so cute, you guys, oh my gosh. I think she's in her late 20s and she's just so adorable. You gotta go check out her channel, Melanie Kate. I'll link her um, her video after this video. Okay. <clears throat> These are called Percy Pigs, her favorite British sweet. Okay. Love your candy bag to be. Yes, Maria, I'm gonna be still doing like um uh kind of rustic lodge, you know, maybe white birch, a little bit of country, but very neutrals, you know me, neutrals and uh I really wanna concentrate on white birch items, but I'm gonna have lots of little trees all around the house. Oh, really? These are really good? Okay, so they're little piggies. I want to open it so I can see what they look like. Um, let's see if I can open it. Oh, it opens fast. Oh my god, their little face is like the shape of a piggy. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I'm going to taste one. I hope it's vegetarian. Let's see. They smell really good. Um, let's see. I can't read with my glasses on. It says, um, where, where's the, uh, okay. Made in Germany and sugar. Oh, pork gelatin. So a lot, I don't know if a lot of you know, a lot of gelatin is made from animal, um, hooves. Um, like gelatin jello has horse hoof in it, the gelatinous part that they make jello from. So this has pork gelatin in it. I'm vegetarian, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> um,
Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. Wow. It's like really fruity. It says soft gums made with fruit juice. You know what I like about um, things made in other countries? I feel like they're not as processed as the ones made here in the US. These are really good. It says no artificial colors or artificial flavorings. Poor little piggy, I'm destroying it. They are good. What does it say? Gummies are never too cute to eat. M&S do vegan ones. Okay. Well, vegan ones. Oh, thank you, Riam. They are really good. I'm going to share these with my, um, my nephew. I mean, I'm a vegetarian, but I do eat fish. And I have had soup that has chicken broth. So I'm not going to like snub my nose against these. Mm. Wow, they're really flavorful, really. These are cute. <laughs> Let me show you the face again, look how cute they are. So Maria, Steven likes these. <laughs> look how cute their face is. I wish I could get epoxy these and then make them act like a magnet. Wouldn't that be cute? Because they have a cute snout and everything. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. They're really cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Melanie. Okay, let's see. The next thing, let me take a sip of my tea. Oh my goodness. Oh, this sounds amazing. Hey, Diana. Diana and I hung out on Monday. We had a great time. Pescatarian, if you eat fish, eggs, and cheese, you can, you know, I am pescatarian because I do eat fish sometimes, like once a month. Um, I don't eat roe, fish eggs. I don't really like it. They taste like pop rocks to me, how they pop in your mouth. Um, tea is well known in England and you have a cuppa in our collab. So thought you may like this. This tries or this tries in with, oh, ties in with the shortbread. Yummy. Oh, I, okay. So her and I did, um, a collaboration together and I think I was drinking some tea because my allergies. Can, oh, that'd be a great idea, Davida. Those little piggy faces are adorable. <laughs> okay, so she got me some tea and it's blackberry, apple, beetroot, which I love, and ginger infusion. And um, if you guys aren't familiar, first of all, berries are really good for you. And so is beets. Beets are super good for you. Ginger. <laughs> of course so so good <laughs> maria if i brought these with me he would probably eat them huh steven <laughs> they're so cute they're so cute um so there's 20 uh cups and i'm gonna open it because this is a really pretty like packaging look at that so you could see the little beet right here. I used to grow beets as a kid. That's how much I love beets. Like I don't like pickled beets as much. I like um, fresh beets. And then I put them in the oven and then I make sandwiches out of them when they're still warm. Gosh, how do you open this thing? Um, so it's like a nice texture like almost like a meatloaf sandwich, but not. Um, uh oh, I'm carrying this. Okay, but it's like such a great sandwich to make a beet sandwich with like some veggies, like romaine lettuce and red thinly um, sliced red onion. 
Oh, this is too, oh, that tea is? I bet this would be. I'm sorry, let me grab a napkin and blow in my nose. Okay. So these are the packaging. I know. <laughs> I do love making my cookies. I'm gonna make some with coconut flour today, actually. Um, oh my goodness, this smells really good, you guys. Really, really good. Look how beautiful the packaging is with the little graphics on it. So beets are one of my favorite vegetables, roots. Hey, you guys from Pusa Studios. You guys go check out their channel. They're such a lovely couple. They have, um, they do shout outs and uh, for all the different channels. And um, they met me and I met them through someone else. His name was Frank and he, he has a really great channel too. I featured him on one of my shout outs as well. But Pusa Studios does, they're based in Canada and uh, they talk about everything, you know, for, for YouTubers and shout outs and just, you know, subjects of that sort. So make sure you go check out their channel. I'll link them down below in my description box also. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. I just got a package from my friend from um, the UK. I am so sorry, you guys. Um, I, I try to catch your lives. I usually watch them afterwards. <laughs> and so, but um, you guys do are doing so great. Really, really great and growing really fast. It's awesome. Really sweet couple. So go check them out. And uh, I love, I love their lives actually. Hi, Ken. So I'm sorry, Maria, what did you say about the tea or beets? I can't remember. I didn't see it. It flashed so quickly. So I have this lovely tea. <laughs> I'm good, Ken. How are you? Oh my gosh, Maria. You, Maria from Arizona. You need to go <laughs> snatch up Miss um, DeVita and craft it up. Come get me too. I know, Dal. We, we all need to go. Well, I'm going to go to Southern California. And I'm going to surprise Davida. And I'm going to show up at her doorstep because I know her address. And <laughs> we're going to hang out. Yes. Ken, do you have a channel? You had three burritos. Oh, my goodness. That's burritos, huh? <laughs> Do you get your burritos from Taco Bell or do you make them? I'm having my green tea and I hate it. It tastes terrible. Okay. Oh, you make them. Oh, that's awesome, Ken. Do you make your own um, own beans for them? Because I put mine in a crock pot and then I make them in several different ways. Yeah, everyone go check out Davida Lane's channel, Bumby DIYs, Pusa Studios. You do make your own um, beans right on, because I do too. And they taste so good, don't they? I make, sometimes I get tired of having just bean soup, so I'll make like a, um, a bean tostada with like a lot of veggies. So I take the, like a couple scoops of my bean soup and I put it in a skillet and I refry them, no oil. I just, with the water, and it turns into like that gelatinous, you know, uh, mixture of refried beans, and I add a little cumin and some salt, and that's it. It's really good. That's what I had last night and the night before, <laughs> tostadas. Okay, so she got me a calf guild, hold on, I can't read this. <laughs> I love Mexico, oh wait, what does that say? Shoot, I missed it, Maria. Dang it. Okay, this says calf. Oh wait, where is it? Nope, I missed it again. It already went up. Let me let me put on my laptop. Hold on. Um let me look at my own video. Green tea with coconut. 
Honey. Ooh, that sounds really good, Maria. I hate green tea. It tastes terrible. It's awful. I'm trying to get, I can't get used to it. It's just awful. So I prefer it like cold. I know, but it's so good for you. So. I do put a little lemon in it. Really? Okay, I'm gonna try that. Coconut, like melted coconut oil and honey. Is that what you're saying? Because I think that would be really good. Hi, Jordan. Okay, so this is the hand wash that she got me and a little matching, look how cute that is, a little emery board. God knows I need to do my nails. Look at my awful nails. But in my business, I'm always unpacking things and packing things, so. Do my nails, look at my awful oh, nails. Oh, sorry. But hey, Kiki. Business, I'm always unpacking things. I gotta and put my things, thing so. on do my nails, mute. Look at my awful oh, nails. sorry. But hey, Kiki. I'm always okay, sorry, you guys. <laughs> How are you, Kiki? Sit down interviews with YouTubers coming up in a week too. Sorry to interrupt. I just thought I, oh, no problem, you guys. That's really nice to let, let us know. I mean, sure. Absolutely. Um, sure. Anything can help us YouTubers. You know, I'm still a very small YouTuber. And anything that can help promote and others, I want everyone, you know, to get a chance to grow. And so that's really wonderful for you to offer that. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> so this hand wash smells really good. Oh, it's like rose petals. I don't know. Am I at Pusa Studios, you guys? I think so. I, I'm only at like 3,500. Not on my book. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Maria. You're so sweet. Oh, gosh, you guys. That's like only 200 away. Oh, no. Kiki, I'm so sorry. I am so happy, though, that the hurricane did not affect you because you had already gone through Hurricane Maria last year. And I thought, oh, my God, please, Lord, don't let it hit Puerto Rico again. Please, God, you know, give them a break. And I'm so thankful that you're okay. And I know um, there's another uh, subscriber that's in Puerto Rico. And I'm so thankful you guys are okay. Oh, my goodness, because that really stresses me out and worries me. <laughs> and I'm so happy that you're okay. And no one in your family or your neighbors and the animals aren't affected. Oh, really, Dal? Are you serious? Oh, Maria from London, you're so sweet. Kiki, did you get that? So hot orange juice with grated fresh ginger. Oh, that sounds really yummy too, actually. That sounds really good. Sometimes I'll do a little garlic in mine too. I know it stinks having the flu, especially when it's hot outside. Oh, that's like miserable, miserable. I just got sick a few, like a few weeks ago. It was miserable. Okay, she got me some shortbread, which let's see, what does she say about the shortbread? Um, uh, okay, oh, here it is. Um, well, first of all, she says that she loves, excuse me, loves this brand, Kath, Kath Kitson. Maria from London is that, she says it's a big brand in, in the UK. She loves it. She calls it Smellies. <laughs> and um, she got me some shortbread and it says that, let's see. She just says it's a, a um, a brand in the UK and it's I know it's backwards it says shortbread by Sainsbury okay these look 
yummy <laughs> and i don't want to look at the fat i'm not going to look i'm not going to look at the fat content so i'll just have maybe one with my green tea in the afternoon that would be good okay there's something else in here oh my gosh how pretty is this wow oh my goodness <laughs> This is going to help me with my business also. I know I love shortbread also, Davida. Oh, really, Maria? I didn't know that. How cool is that? So good to have other people on here from like other countries who know what the brands are. That's so awesome. Maria from London, are you having at least a glass of wine? It is close to midnight. Are you enjoying your evening? I hope so. So she sent me a weekly planner. Oh, that's so great that Pusa, you guys, Pusa Studios has joined your guys' channel. So make sure everyone you go join their channel. Um, they have lovely, lovely lives where they talk about lots of stuff for YouTube, invaluable information. I mean, I was thinking about raising money for my, um, this one cat that we have uh, that was a rescue, and I didn't know quite how to do it. And um, I know Maria. Ooh, rosemary and lavender. I have rosemary growing in my backyard. Ooh, raspberry leaf and rose hip tea. That sounds delicious. I have I have bought rose hip tea. Oh no, no, you're fine. <laughs> you you guys aren't no one's ever cutting me off. Look, I'm a talker. I can stop and start, stop and start. I don't lose my train of thought. So please, I love your comments. Oh, you did, Ken. How old was the baby raccoon? Oh my goodness. I love all of you guys. You guys are so special in my life. I mean, I can't even tell you what you all mean to me. Um, and Davida, I know that you have done a video. I've watched all your videos. I haven't commented because I keep falling asleep, not because of your um, video. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I keep, like I tried, I uploaded your video, Davida, and I fell asleep. Um, okay, Ken. <laughs> I just am so tired lately, and I think it's just because of what's been going on. But I, I'm, I've already watched your videos, and I need to comment on them. Oh, thank you, Maria. Thank you, both Marias. You're so sweet. Both of you are so informative. And Kiki, go check out her channel, too. Um, she, I love her channel. So she does it in English and Spanish. And uh, that's really near and dear to my heart because my mom spoke Spanish, even though she was French. So we grew up with a few languages. Um, and, uh, so she, I just would love to see you do to go live one day. Thank you very much, Maria from Arizona. <laughs> Did you hear that, Davina? What I've been telling you, you need to go live. Okay. <laughs> Davida, you so need to go live. And I'm going to start pressuring you to go live. See, Dow, she's telling you to go live. We all want to see you go live. Woman, come on. You know we're all going to be there. You know we're all going to be hanging on every word. So just do it. <laughs> um. No words, it's just happy faces. <laughs> so I forgot what I was saying actually, but so uh, Melanie got me this weekly planner. Look how awesome it is because I this is nice and slim that I can stick into my purse. Um, 
with my day planner and it's sometimes nice because mine kind of hooks and I have to open it all up. Um, this would be really nice to like just write who appointment I have with, um, you know what I mean? I know Davida has a very nice channel. She's amazing and I love her. This is a really good size. Perfect for my purse because I have like a wider purse and I'll show you guys in a second. I have a day planner in there and then this. But recently my puppy has chewed one of my straps on the purse. Now, it's okay because I've had the purse for over a year and I only pay like $40 for it. But I love that purse and I would really love to keep using it. <laughs> so I have to go back. I got it at Ross and I'm going to go back and try to find something similar because it works really well. I can put bottles of water in there and everything. You're welcome, Davida. Yes, Biscuit is a busy puppy. He's chewed a lot of things. But it's okay. He's still a puppy, and I'm learning again what it means to have a puppy, you know, again. So it's fine. Yes, Kiki. Oh, my gosh. It's been 17 years since I had a puppy, so I kind of forgot. And he's so, like, he's over there. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so dependent on me and has anxiety if I walk out of the room. Separation anxiety. Strap fix, just cut. Oh, really, Dow? That's a good idea. That's a really good idea because I really love the purse itself. It holds so many things. I'm going to go show you guys because it works so well with, for my business. Hold on. Hold on. It's right here. Hi, baby. What you doing? What you doing? So... I know I did a video on this because I was tagged on it. It's just a black handbag, right? And it's made by um, Chaps, which is like just a regular in, um, inexpensive designer. I know, Maria, I'm so mad. <laughs> it has a pocket in the back, but it's like the perfect size that I can put in my day planner and everything in it. But so, he only got one <laughs> of the handles, but as you can see, he got it pretty good. And I don't feel comfortable taking it when I meet with clients, you know. Ah. Anyways, but I just have very simple things in here, like my wallet, which I want to get another wallet because I don't like the hot pink anymore. I want like a taupe color maybe. I've had this for several years, but it's lasted so long. Just uh, my eye case. And cough drops because my allergies. <laughs> Gum so I don't offend anyone just in case. Um, a little... I got this from Target. It was like on clearance, a part of a set, so I can put extra change in it, which I find handy. Um, and anyways, I love this purse, so I might try that Dow and have the handle fix maybe. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you so much. I know, I appreciate your words. And um, I, Thank you so much. So goodbye, Bumby. Go check out her channel also, you guys. Um, all right, so this all from the lovely Melanie Kate. You think it, I can fix it really? Okay, because I really love the purse. It's so easy to use for work. And I can easily stick now this weekly planner instead of just my monthly planner. You're not seeing all the loose receipts though. Target, <laughs> gas, <laughs> not that organized. So anyways, I do love this purse. It's so easy to manage, but maybe I will try to fix it. Um, so I wanna say thank you so much. Lovely Miss Melanie Kate. And we're probably gonna do another collaboration together. 
Um, I'm not really sure. She had something planned. So I don't know what her plans are, but I'm really excited to hear. And I'm probably going to have these tonight, My this tea with the shortbread. I'm only going to have one with my tea. And then I can't wait to work with these little frames that she got me and maybe make into ornaments like you guys said. And then the L is so pretty, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful, Melanie. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what I'm where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to use it. Okay. Hi, Ken. Again. <laughs> I know I'm really bad on our seats. I, I then I have to put at the end of the month, all of them in an envelope. <laughs> Maria, that's so funny. I know mine's really bad. You guys should see envelopes that I have for each month. I can't wait to use this for my groceries. Thank you, Melanie. And what else? Did, oh, I'm going to share these with my nephew. These were really good, actually. Really good. And did I get everything? Yes. Oh, and then the um, hand wash, which I'm a habitual hand washer. That's a good idea, Davida. Dow, I think I have more receipts than money too, actually. <laughs> These I'll put um, maybe in like, when I go to clients' houses, when I do staging, sometimes the houses are empty and there's no hand wash. So I've been using, you know, that antibacterial stuff. So it dries out my hands really bad. But if I have this and a, a hand towel with me, then I can wash my hands very nicely. And then of course I can always use an emery board. I'll put it in with my little cosmetic bag because my nails are terrible. They're really thick and strong, but I don't take care of them. I don't do anything with them. So thank you, Melanie. I love everything and I'm so touched by everything you got me. And oh my goodness, I, I need to just to send out your package. Oh, and I love your bracelet. I'm gonna wear this all the time because I truly love wearing blue and I love that the silver looks so striking next to the blue. Why would you hold on to them? It must be a condition. <laughs> Are you talking to me, Maria? <laughs> Ugh, green tea is terrible. And this, I just love this little bag. It's so cute. Oh, the receipts. Okay, now I get it, Maria. Ken, you have pink lemonade. Ken, do you make your own pink lemonade? Because I make mine from scratch. Because that tree up there is a lemon tree. And I get so many lemons. Um, there's a bunch on there now. But mainly... Um, are all green, but now they're turning yellow. Oh, you do, Ken, okay. Ken, what state are you in? I'm curious. It's not good. Michigan? Oh, so it's not like you can have a citrus tree. Okay, never mind. Because I was thinking of getting like another tree. <laughs> I know for some reason like my wallet does not reflect me either but it's pretty terrible oh it is Maria okay I didn't know that Kath Kitson is like the N.E. Laura Ashley but would cottage style twist okay cool it smells really nice <laughs> I can send you some dehydrated lemons, Ken. <laughs> oh, it must get so colder in the winter. I'm, I can't imagine how cold it gets there. I am not, I don't do very good with the cold. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, I know I already showed you in my haul. Chaga. Dal, wait, Chaga, Chaga Roo. Hold on. Is that like a mixture? What is that again? Because I had a roommate that was an herbalist and he would make chaga. What is that? Can you remind me? 
So here is the ticking, I got one yard of this gray ticking stripe um, from Walmart and it was six, I think 48 per yard, but I can make a lot of things out of this one yard. Um, so I have a project coming up with that. Birch tree water is very refreshing. I heard that, Maria, yep. Lots of fungus grows high up on certain trees. Oh, really? Ugh. Nasty little fungus. How dare they? <sighs> the tiki fabric. What's a tiki fabric? Is that like tick? Oh, ticking. Ticking fabric? Looks like burn wood chunks. Okay, the tea. Okay, I'll have to look at that. My herbalist friend, tenant that lived here, he was so knowledgeable. Um, he made some a tea concoction for my dog's skin and it really helped. Helps with fungus and internally and externally. Um, I need to get a hold of him. He was from Germany. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that, Dal. Thank you, Kiki. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, it does help. It did help his coat dramatically. No, Dal, don't send me any. I don't want you to spend any money. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, I got a yard of the green burlap because, you know, I'm obsessed with burlap. So this is like a sage, soft seafoam sage color. I can make so much from this, you guys. I have so many thoughts in my head. So I'm doing a Christmas DIY with red ticking fabric. Oh, I love the red ticking, ticking fabric too. They didn't, no, they did have red, but I wanted to get the this gray because um, I was thinking of, oh, hi, Kathy. I know, I love burlap. <laughs> I was thinking of making some pillows out of this. I will get some red also, Davida, because I think, yeah, that can be so pretty for um, Christmas time, you know? But I don't know what you guys think. I was gonna make um, some curtains and just like a valance. It is very Scandinavian, you're right. She did. Um, for my window up here, I've had the bracket to put, you know, um, a curtain up and I haven't done it yet, but I thought I would use either the sage green or the cream burlap, but Walmart has been out of the cream burlap for so long. And so I keep checking back and they haven't had it. So I thought this was like really nice and light. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Okay, I think so too. I think this would be really pretty. I just need like an accent piece above there, which I'll, let me tilt the camera. So, um, oh, Maria, so you wash them first? Yeah, so when you wash them, I know I, they get all wrinkly, but you can't iron them. Is it hard to iron? Steam it, okay. So I kind of like this color, you guys. So I might make these into curtains for above my sink, or I might wait until um, they get the cream in and I can use that. Okay, so you like this color, guys. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I know. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> Gray is definitely my color. My last house, everything was gray inside. Are you asking me, Ken, do I decorate? Um, if you're asking me, yes, I do decorate. I do stage homes. Oh, for Halloween. Yes, absolutely. It's one of my favorite little fun holidays, and I get about three to 400 kids every year. Oh, really? I like linen too, but I just love, I love burlap because it's so translucent. And I thought, you know, I just want an accent piece up there, but I don't want to cover the light. So I'm just doing a valance 
and just like a box balance. Steamer works great. Okay, I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna see if my one roommate, Brian, will <laughs> sew this for me this weekend. I hope he does, because I I really want them. Um, and so, and then whatever's left over, I have a couple DIYs that I wanted to do with the green. Um, and then let's see. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was, um, we talked about the sweater pumpkins. I know I was just thinking of the pumpkins too. Let's see. I really, it's really good allowing light to come in. Absolutely. Hi, Cheryl. Because they can bake the seeds. Oh, okay. Mm. That tastes terrible. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do a video on this, but probably later today. So I have one of my sweaters. I have to jump in the shower having a get together with the family. How dare they interrupt my life? <laughs> Oh, have a good evening with your family. Drea, you're so funny. <laughs> have a wonderful evening, Maria. Thank you for joining in. I made pumpkins with a double toilet paper. It was so easy. You did? I can't never say. Bye, Maria. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to email you, okay? I'm so sorry. I haven't um, email back. Oh, sorry, you guys. Hold on one second. But this is the sweater I'm going to be using for my sweater pumpkins. Oh, hold on, hold on. Get over here, buddy. Get up here right now. Be quiet. No, don't even think about it. <sighs> So I buy these um, sweaters from Target every year. I get various colors, mainly the grays. They have a couple version of grays. Um, they're not terribly thick, but as you can see, but they're, they're so, I try to get them to where they're snug enough against like my body and they're so warm, really, really warm. They're made out of, um, I think acrylic, and cotton but this one's too small it I've outgrown it so it's made out of cotton and rayon and a little bit of nylon so it does have like a nice give oh bye Maria <laughs> so this one has shrunk or I grew one of the two <laughs> no it did shrink actually um it did shrink and this is an extra large but I do like for it to be, you know, snug, but not that snug. And um, I, w I accidentally washed it in hot water, but I'm, I buy them every year. So they're really good uh, warm fabric because I get really cold. So as you can see in the front, they have that braided sweater. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna do a pumpkin out of that and then out of the sleeves, actually. So I just have quickly have a pumpkin here from the Dollar Tree. I took off the top part with the flowers that it had on. And I'm just gonna put it over. The sleeves at the bottom have this. It's ribbed, um, so it looks really nice on the pumpkin. So as you can see, this is how it would kind of look in a gray. Isn't that cute? So I will show you how I do this in the video later. And then I'll do one for the sleeves and then one with the braided um, part in the middle. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> so that'll be fun because I love gray. And then I'm also probably gonna be doing some pumpkins in the ticking stripe also the gray taking stripes so they'll coordinate really nicely um i did pre-paint my pumpkins just in case and i'll show you what they look like <clears throat> 
So they're just the styrofoam carvable pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And finally, thank you, Maria. I know. I, I don't like to throw things away. I like to reuse them, upcycle them, recycle them. So I bought a bunch of these pumpkins. Me too, Cheryl. I love things trying. It kind of reminds me... <laughs> If you guys are familiar with older movies, they always had Ticking Stripe as a part of the prisoner's pillows. They were made out of Ticking Stripe and sometimes they're bedding, like their mattress, right? And I always think of that whenever I think of Ticking Stripe. <laughs> but it became like this huge craze for Farmhouse and I'm like, I've always liked it, but I'm like, well, those are prisoner pillows. <laughs> So you're going to get a carvable pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I already painted it white. Um, I'll remove the top and I will put the ticking stripe on here. Not sure if I'm going to do hot glue or deco pot or decoupage, uh, mod podge. And I'll try that. I'm going to do a couple that way and then a couple in the gray sweater. I think it's going to look so cute because gray and cream and whites look really good with my sofa because it's like that dark, muddy, olive, sage green. So grays and creams really look nice. Oh, that's okay, <laughs> Davida. So Davida, I, I, she has a excuse me, a bunch of videos out and go check out her videos. Um, there's one to all of us subscribers and then she has done her challenge video and I don't think I left a comment. I'm so sorry. My mind has just been like scattered lately. Um, but she used a lot of crows, which I love crows. They're so adorable. And, um, Crows are very smart. They're as smart, almost as smart or as smart as ravens. So they're super intelligent. And I just think they're a huge part of Halloween decor. And Davida has a bunch of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dal. I really wanted to do more for it, but I, I actually ended up running out of time. And making those little burlap cookies or treats were like super time consuming. And so I thought, well, I want to do Davida's apples, but I ran out of time, and so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to wrap these up in cellophane, and they look from afar like candied apples. <laughs> so it's sitting over here right now, and I think it's cute. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing for my next video are a bunch of pumpkins. Um, oh, thank you, Maria from London. Oh, thank you, Dow. That little lovely pheasant, I just love it. My dad has, I think he bought it. He has really good taste. The crowd looked great. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Yeah, so the next Halloween challenge is next Friday. I am going to um, try to do crows. Oh, I, I knew what you meant when you said it, actually, Shannon. <laughs> I said crowd, but I knew what you meant by crows. Um, the next challenge Davida is having is the Hutch Halloween challenge, or you can do a console table um, or something of that sort. You don't have to have a hutch. Um, and so my hutch being black is perfect for Halloween. So I decided to use my hutch and uh, decorate it. So I bought a few things, but a lot of things I'm going to be making for it and um, including in there. And, uh, oh, thank you, Kathy. Are you talking about my DIYs or, or Davida? It's okay if you say Davida's because she does awesome DIYs. Oh gosh, that green tea is horrible. Um, and so I'll be doing a couple of those videos. And um, thank you, Shannon. Oh, thank you, Dal. Cheryl, I've seen, you've sent in, Cheryl, right, some of your pictures to um, Arlen, right, uh, for your subscriber Cozy Corner and um, 4th of July one. 
I could have sworn you did. And I remember thinking, okay, I thought so, yeah. I remember thinking, wow, <laughs> that's really awesome. <laughs> Why do I even have a channel? <laughs> You're so good. It amazes me that all these people who are out there who are so talented, they really should have a channel. You really should, Cheryl. Um, I remember, because I remember you saying something about it and I remember going back to look because um, the video went kind of quickly. We will subscribe very quickly. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and I thought, wow, that's really amazing. It's so beautiful. And I just love that everyone has different ideas and um, we would definitely support you, Cheryl, my goodness. Um, it might seem scary and overwhelming in, in the very beginning and you might not feel comfortable showing yourself in the very beginning. I kind of didn't, but I wanted to, but then when I wanted to, I didn't have the right equipment. And then when I really realized all you really need is a phone and a tripod, a good tripod. And I got mine. I know, I know, um, Arlen did her tripod review and she loved it. And Danielle decor got one also, but I got two tripods with remotes for $21. Lori, you have me using everything I would have thrown. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh gosh, Cheryl, look at me. Shoot. And you know, there's a trick about the T-R-O-L-L-S. I don't know if it's there's something to saying them, but um, I realized like on a weekend, they're still sleeping at till a certain time. So right now it's 446. So maybe um, you turned your tripod into a lamp. That's creative. Um, but what is really great about, you know, sometimes I think they're three hours ahead. Sometimes they're on the New York and East Coast and they're mainly gamers and they have nothing better to do. So they come on and try to bombard people, which they did to me. Um, but, you know, like I said, I live with a police officer. And so they're, I want them to come back on so that I can see that the longer they stay on, even just logging in, not saying anything, they can trace their um, IP address because they got a bunch of them, actually. So um, and then you can report them to YouTube, of course. And um so, I mean, pay no attention to them. I got bombarded. It was like 50 people at one time. So that's why we're tracing their IP address and uh, they're working on it. So it's kind of cool. Um, but when you get one or two that are really rude and they say mean, awful things, they're so lonely and desperate and ignorant and ridiculous. And I, I don't tolerate it either. Um, if you look at that video where I was getting bombarded, I was just like, whatever, we're getting off anyways. But, you know, I just don't, I feel sorry for them that these people have nothing better to do. And it's like, wow, well, it's pretty sad, really. It was awful, Dow. I was just like, what? it was like pages of all these comments. And I had to ask the police officer that lives with me, um, what some of it meant. Like, I didn't understand what some of it meant. And then he told me, and I was like, oh, ugh. you know, like so, some of the things were naughty, 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 naughty. Some things were like, oh, I have your IP address and this and that. And um, they're just lonely, awful, probably very, um, when someone does stuff like that, they're very insecure themselves and uh, they want to see other people come down to their level because they're so insecure. So, ah, Cheryl, that's so nice. Exactly. Let them all hang out. Cool with me. And I'm like, leave me alone. But that one day I was really bombarded. And so um, uh, they're looking into the IP addresses and uh, they can um, go after them that way because some of it was like really 
negative and derogatory and um, violent. So they can prosecute at some point, you know? So um, maybe some of their comments are misdemeanors, but some of them could be considered felonies. And it's like, yeah, come on to my channel, then sure, you're gonna get in trouble at some point. Um, I don't understand nasty people either. I just think they're just very unhappy, lonely, insecure people, you know? And talking about, you know, being, um, yeah, she does, Cheryl, she does get some unruly little ugly trolls. <laughs> we're all subjected to that. We can all obviously get them, but it doesn't affect me. And, you know, even if they were to make personal comments towards me and my, and my weight or whatever, um, I still think I feel sorry for them really. And, um, I know I, I see thumbs down too, but you know what? I have a YouTube uh, friend. Um, we, we recently connected on YouTube. You guys, this is the funny thing. I have to tell you this story. Okay. Um, let me drink some water here because that green tea tastes terrible. So I have a friend that works for YouTube. I told him what happened also about the trolls and everything. And so he has been working with the police department, which is so cool. But he's like, so what's been going on? And I he was re reconnecting, you know, cause um, he lives in downtown San Francisco. And I used to work in San Francisco um, back in like 2004 to like 2006. I would drive there pretty much every day. And um, <laughs> this is the funny part. So you know how we all can get thumbs down, right? He goes, hey, so I'm going to do you a favor. You know, do you want to know anything on YouTube? Um, like uh, anything particular, you know, the ins and outs. And I said, <laughs> Shannon, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, so he's like, do you want to know anything? And I said, oh, I said, uh, I said, I have a feeling I'm getting these thumbs down there from a particular couple people because it was really funny how I was automatically just getting a thumbs down like right off the bat. And he goes, sure, I can check into it. So he runs this report and he showed me the report, right? And um, wouldn't you know it, it was who I thought I may have had suspicion about. It was a fellow YouTuber, and uh, I had a feeling that she was a little jealous of me. I don't know why. And um, they are Maria, totally. And he told me who it was repetitively, and then there was another person that she knew that was also doing it. Um, so I guess that answered my question. So that one YouTuber and her friend Yes, Davida, I think you know who it is. Um, we're giving me an automatic thumbs down. And it is childish. I, I had a feeling though. I thought this is, you know, hmm, it's a little bit weird. And I asked him, I said, can you run a, you know, can you do that? Can you check? And so he did run a report. Yeah, Kiki. It was a fellow YouTuber. Hey, buddy. And so, um, oh, you can come in. Yeah, no, you're. <laughs> so, my roommate, he's getting, hey, getting attacked by my poor dog, my dog. Poor, poor roommate. Come here, buddy. Come here, right now. No, you're okay. You're fine. You can say hi to YouTube if you want. <laughs> oh, help us. I'm so, nervous. He, like, <laughs> so my poor tenant, he's like, no, I'll pass. I'm saying hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, buddy, leave him alone. Come here. He's not going to run out, right? No, I think he'll stay here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. 
Cheryl, it's sad. It's sad that people kind of reduce themselves to that. I mean, like you pretend to be someone's friend and then they end up doing that to you. And it's like, wow, I had my suspicions and it was completely confirmed. And I thought, wow, that's really bad. I would never do that to anybody. So needless to say, there are people out there like that. And, um, you know, I, I feel sorry for them really. But um, I wouldn't be like that either. If you don't like a video, move on. If you're just, you know, some Joe Schmo, right? If you're a fellow YouTuber, you understand more the importance of like a thumbs down. You still get credit for it, crazily enough, but it's, it's still, you take it as a negative, right? Oh, thank you, Dow. That's so nice of you. <laughs> I don't like the green eyed monsters either. Um, yeah, it's like, why, why pretend to be your friend? And then the whole time in the background, you're working against them. That's awful. That is like really low. So I was really happy to find out. It just confirmed what I was feeling and I was right. So yeah, I'm, I'm done with that person, but um, you can't please everyone that's so true. You cannot, and you're going to irritate or bug somebody and whatever. That's fine. But, you know, the people that I do affect positively outweighs the people that are doing. Hi. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Oh, hi, Suzanne. <laughs> How are you guys? Tracy, I loved your, your, cha I love your challenges. They're so awesome. Oh my gosh. I have so much fun with them. And Davida, like, I'm so thankful for having all these great challenges that you guys have put out because I would be going stir crazy if there weren't those. I know, Kathy, I know, and you're right. Um, I don't let it bother me, you know, cause I have, <laughs> I've gone through so much with my mom having been sick and we took care of her for 15 years. I've grown as such a person that this trivial little small stuff does not mean anything to me. I am bigger than that. I'm stronger than that. So I just kind of let it roll off my back. But, um, it's really sad when it's people that you know and that you thought were your friends. And so that's why I, I you just have to kind of keep on rolling, keep on doing your thing. You don't react back because it's like, then you're becoming as low as they are. That's not the point. You just keep on moving and chugging along. And I think what irritates them more is your success, right? So you don't bother with them. You just keep on plugging along. So I do. I keep plugging along, doing my thing. And that's right. The good outweighs the bad for sure. And, um, oh, I, I have to film like four videos today, actually. <laughs> Oh, Cheryl, that's right. It's amazing what the Lord puts on us and we can handle, excuse me, and we fight, right? That's right, Davida. When you lose your child, I mean, no one should lose their child. And when that happens, I mean, you obviously have to move forward. And you have to get through it. You never forget it. You never, you, it's always on your mind from morning to evening. First thing when you wake up in the morning to the last thing that you think about going to bed. And, and that's how it was for when I lost my mom, right? And um, I can only imagine having been my child. You know, it's it's one thing to lose somebody in your life, but when it's a child, it's even worse. And so, Davida, I give you so much credit and so much kudos for continuing and plugging on. And I, when I first found out, I didn't know how, how recent it was, and I'm so sorry. And like I told you, you know, I'm here for you. 
Tracy's here for you. I know she has been. And I can't imagine. I can't, I cannot imagine. And so I, I agree. You never get over something like that. But when these little trivial things happen on the sidelines, like trolls and negative comments and things, people trying to backstab you, it's like, it means nothing because you're going through something bigger and, you know, it, these little things don't matter. And I mean, after having lost my mom, I was a mess for sure. And I was ready to fight anybody. Like, say something to me. I'm going to argue with you, you know. But I, I most definitely learned that after having a huge loss like that of anybody, your daughter, my mom, um, my friend recently, that, you know, um, these little things that people, they try to tear you down with their ugly comments or their thumbs down. And even having found out who that person was, I feel sorry for them. And I feel like I'm dealing with real life. And yes, YouTube has helped me also, even though there's been some negative connotation associated, but that's natural. I still feel like I have met so many wonderful people from across the globe, the Netherlands, the UK, Canada, the islands of Canada, like Nova Scotia, Dal, <laughs> um, Southern California, Arizona, New Jersey, um, you name it, exactly, Dal. So, I mean, I, those outweigh the bad. If these people ever had negative things happen to them, they wouldn't make it because they don't, they can't handle it. They're weak people that want to tear down other people, but we are survivors and we're not going to let anything happen to us. And so that's just, that's how, who we are, our genetic makeup and our strength. And I'll keep on plugging on. Like I said, I'm super resourceful. If I had to survive the depression, I probably would have. I. I don't know how successful at it I would be, but I would survive and I'm resourceful. I don't, I do get down, but I deal with it and you have to have support exactly. And that's why it's like, if someone says that they need a little help to get through a day, a week, two weeks, be there for them. Because I mean, everyone has been there for me, even though I kind of like take a step back. Um, it's so nice to know that there is support there if I want to take them up on it. And so these people who are so negative and want to tear you down, it's like, that's right. We are women that hear us, you know, hear us roar. That's right. And very good, Cheryl. You know, we are strong people. And after what I went through with my mom, I mean, trying to resuscitate my own mom in my arms, nothing can prepare you for that, but I made it and I got through it. And I know that, yes, having the Lord in your life and having a faith will help you get through things. And I certainly have felt that, you know, and then sometimes you just run across people that are introduced into your life, maybe not for a huge length of time, but they've affected your life for the positive or they become very special in your life. Hi, Kit. So I feel that way about you all, you know, everybody, everyone that's on here specifically. And I am so thankful for everyone. I mean, really, it's been so wonderful. You guys are so supportive. And these little weird trolls and such mean nothing to me. It, oh, Cheryl, you have no idea how, how hard that was um, taking care of my mom for 15 years. But I mean, the daily struggles and then when she was passing, having to try to revive her and um, uh, 
she died in her arms and um the only reason I'm not crying right now is because I've cried so much. I cry every day over her loss and um, you cope with it. You don't ever get over it, but you just cope with it. And you know what? I know she's watching me down, down on me. And I know that she appreciates everything we did. And I'm so glad. Um, I'm so glad I could be there for her and that she was with us. She was with us, my dad and I, and we were trying to resuscitate her and she died in her arms, literally. And so I'm so thankful that she wasn't in a hospital room. She didn't want to be, you know, we took care of her at home for the 15 years. We are strong for the people that we take care of. I mean, I feel like my mom was too good to be a part of this earth, too good of a person. And now she deserves to be where she belongs, you know? And I feel like um, I'm kind of like that younger soul that they call. I'm an older, I'm an old soul, but a younger soul a little bit. And I still have a lot to learn and I'm really trying Thank you, you guys. <laughs> so, I mean, she's with me in spirit for sure. And um, I try to, you know, when I see these nasty comments or people do these things to me. Yes. I, I'm so thankful to know my mom is, is in a place that there's no suffering. She's good, you know. Exactly, Cheryl. You know, she's there and she's like, I'm good you worry about yourself <laughs> and she's in a happy place because she had a lot of suffering not only from her disease but from just life in general she was one of those really sweet sweet good people um they called her like a lamb and people took advantage of her walked all over her and i just feel like she was this little special angel because, you know, you could do something to her and she'd forgive them and turn around and help them. I mean, I don't know too many people that do that. So I feel like she was meant to move on. This was her next step in her life. And exactly. Oh, thank you, Dal. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty far-fetched <laughs> from my mom, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, God, that tastes terrible. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm a decent and good person, but I still get mad. I still get angry. Hey, glue guns. <laughs> We've missed you. <laughs> I mean, I'm so thankful for having some of my mom traits, but I still have so much to learn from her. And uh, she was a crafty person also. So I think she would have loved and adored um, <laughs> having YouTube around, you know, she was like, okay, what's next? What, what can we do next? You know, she was so crafty and so ingenious with her crafts and so resourceful. And that's probably what I get from her is her resourcefulness. And my dad is very resourceful, both having gone through some version of depression era and so uh, my parents are very like, they're survivors. You know, that generation is dying off. And what we have now that's left, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared for my future. <laughs> but um, no, they'll learn. There has to be something to what makes people learn, you know, in life, like what we can all be survivors and grow and not get caught up in it all. Oh, how terrible. She canceled her channel. People are so naughty, aren't they? Gosh. Ugh, people are just so ridiculous. <laughs> Kit, you're so sweet. Um, so, uh, you know, it's been a while, you guys. Davida, I will so drive down on Monday. If you want me to come down, beware.
Oh, thank you, Denise. How are you? <laughs> I'm so glad you could join. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Maria. Oh, I bet she was, Cheryl. I bet she was a sweetheart. Davida, if I, if you, I should, I shouldn't have said anything. I should have just drove down, but I didn't know if you had plans. So uh, I should have just drove down with my crazy puppy, my car, my little nugget, and just drove down and checked, you know, checked you out and said, we're going out to lunch. Oh my gosh, Denise, I know. I did like nine videos in one week and I'm still going. Oh, I'm so glad, Davida. That's why I said something, because I would have just drove down. And then if you weren't home, I would have just seen my friend who doesn't live too far from you. So it would have worked out either way. <laughs> um, so I have some DIYs coming up. And even though I've been doing a bunch of DIYs, You know what, glue guns, I'm sorry, I forgot your first name. I know we emailed each other. Is it Tracy? No, what is it? I'm so sorry. Uh, it's been a while. Um, Megan, okay, thank you, Megan. Okay, so guys, go check out her channel also, Glue Guns and Roses. She does amazing DIYs. Um. She, you have to go check out her channel. Super good. I wanted to do a collab with her because she was uh, so like we were kind of on the same page as like farmhouse and DIYs and both like Dollar Tree DIYs and stuff like that. But she was really busy and then spring summer hit for me and then it was like super busy and I could barely breathe. That was so, oh my gosh, Tracy, what you sent to um, Davida was so awesome. Back, I had to take a break. You, I got in bed, had wreck. Oh my gosh, really, Megan? I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Ooh, someone's getting um, a big box. That's exciting. <laughs> Tracy, I just love her channel too. So Denise Jordan, this this and that with Denise Jordan and the Holiday Cookie Diva, Davida Lane, Blue Guns and Roses. Who else is on here? Um, let me see. Let me look on my laptop. Go check everyone's channel. If you guys click on, um, I am trying to catch up on, Cheryl, don't worry. I'm I'm trying to catch up on everyone's video. Um, if you go to the, where they leave a comment, there's like three little dots and you click on that and you can go to channel and you can still hear the live, but you can like subscribe to them if you'd like to. All these ladies have amazing channels and um, I really love their channels. <sighs> I mean, I don't always leave comments because sometimes I end up, when I watch videos, it's usually late in the evening and I'm so tired I end up falling asleep, but I do try to go back and then comment. Yes, everyone on here is so well worth it. Oh, thank you, Megan. Thank you so much. I, you know, I love my house is it is what it is. Like I'm not going to tear out my cabinets or anything. So I try to decorate within the realms of it. So being that these cabinets are kind of more modern, um, I have to work with what I have, you know? And so I try to do a little farmhouse and it, it kind of works in the kitchen, excuse me. Um, and then I try to incorporate that out in my family room and then a little bit into my dining, formal dining area. And 
it is what it is. It's like, I love country. I love farmhouse. I love rustic. I love neutrals. I'm probably not going to be that person that shows a bunch of tropical stuff. I have shown some Dollar Tree um, halls that I got a bunch of tropical things because outside I tend to decorate more on the back patio. Um, uh, oh, what happened to Carol's nephew? Shoot, I missed that. Um, more tropical being California, but I mean, oh my gosh, I country is my roots, you know, from my dad's side. And then, um, my mom, she's, you know, not from here. So, I mean, she's more of a Euro aspect. And so, I mean, both of them meeting, I feel like they were, they were that show green acres <laughs> and, uh, it's kind of cool that they had both to share with each other. You made me think of my mom so much. Thank you. Oh, really Kit? Cheryl, it doesn't matter if you're eclectic. I'm eclectic too. I mean, I have gone through so many styles. It doesn't matter. You just need to start your channel. But I have been through modern stages. For years, I went through modern. I went through... Um, traditional side also. Yeah, thank you, Megan. Yeah, I mean, I had an eclectic boho stage before it was a boho thing. Um, I have, I hated country when I was a kid. I liked it secretly, but I didn't want my mom to decorate in country. So it's kind of funny, but now I love all her things. And so I'm so thankful I still have them. <gasps> really, Maria, your mom is coming? Oh my goodness, that's awesome. From Germany? Awesome. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Hey, Josie. Yeah, Cheryl, there's nothing wrong with having every room a different style. Um, yeah, see, we're not the only ones who, you're not the only one who has an eclectic style. I definitely pull my memories from my dad. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that phone call coming in. Um, that was my dad calling. Um, but my dad being a country boy, even though he was country, he was very well educated. Not saying that you aren't when you're in the country, but um, he lived a little bit of city life in New Orleans, and uh, but lived a lot of the time on the outskirts also um, of New Orleans. And, you know, his childhood was quite traumatic and um, learning all that he did growing up and being adopted out, even though his parents were still alive, he got adopted by like these awful people who were rich, but adopted him basically to use him as like a slave. And, um, but he learned so much from it. You know, he, it was a, a second start for him and uh, he could start all over. And, um, yes, I was talking about her, her <laughs> channel, Maria. Yeah. Um, and so my dad, I, I learned so much. He's a survivor. So is my mom. And, um, I really love what they bring, brought to the table for me, decorating wise. And, uh, just as a humanitarian and, um, you know, surviving, just surviving. And it's amazing. Like, what their style, how much it's impacted me, that I really, truly loved country. I love the city, and I thought I'm always going to live in the city, for sure. But I thought, no way, um, am I ever going to like country? Well, things change. Things totally change, and I live in a suburb now. I'm older. I love my suburb. I love my serenity and my quiet, and... Um, I love the city and the vibe and the just the whole feeling when you go into the city. I still love that, but I am a different person that I don't necessarily need that crazy vibe all the time that I really love just living in a very small, you know, community. Oh, how pretty Maria, but that's gorgeous.
Oh, really, Cheryl? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, my dad, don't get me started, but I told him he needs to write his story, leave the names out, because his family um, is a very prominent family back in the South, and they had a lot of money, and they're, they, <laughs> so um, he's afraid to write anything about it, but he really should, just to kind of get it off his chest. I am too, Cheryl. I mean, it affected his life greatly. But, you know, at the same time, him being adopted, even by this horrible family, saved life. Um, so I'm thankful for that. But it's unfortunate. Like, that was the era. You adopted children to be a workhorse on the farm. And so my dad has said so many times, you know, that the animals on the farm um, were, his, were, were his saving grace. And they, they had, um, they showed dogs, sorry guys, they showed dogs and uh, he had to raise all those dogs and take care of them, plus the milking cows, dairy cows, and uh, he did the bees, um, he took care of everything. Absolutely, Maria. If I was only a quarter bit as strong as my parents, like their backgrounds, even though I said my, my mom, their family had money, they did lose it like twice and they struggled, but they survived and they came back. And um, uh, it, it was something, their life, you know, and I really wish I had more information on my mom so that I could write a book about it. Let's see, I read a book called The Orphan Train and it told about children in uh, the 30s. Okay, yeah, Denise. You know, and Denise wrote some children books. So that was really amazing. Um, I don't know if I commented on that video. I think I did, but it was really cool, Denise, to know that you wrote books, um, children books. That's so cool. And um, <laughs> that would be an amazing thing to do, actually. What, a, what an accomplishment, really. And, um, but, you know, having such diverse background from my parents, you know, growing up, we had money, we didn't have money, we had money, we didn't have money. It, it seemed like that, um, yes, uh, my dad's really good in genealogy, Cheryl, actually, he's big into our family. And uh, we have kind of a historical last name and family, and we have our own cemetery we can be buried in if we want to. Uh, I don't know if I will, but um, it's amazing, like, what your family roots, what you find out. But their triumphs from everything has really molded me. And, um, I mean, that's why I think I save everything, and I don't, like, throw much away. You should be very proud, Denise. It's very cool, very amazing. I mean, how awesome is that? My husband too, Huntoon. Cheryl is Huntoon. Um, there's a highway named after the family. Oh, Huntoon, that does sound familiar. So my last name is Boone, um, for those of you who don't know. And uh, we always thought we were <laughs> direct descendants of Daniel Boone, but it's actually his brother. And um, so we are direct descendants of Daniel Boone's brother. And, um, and yes, we have family in Ireland, England, Scotland, the Netherlands. Oh, thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Um, it is not easy to write for children. Well, I know, I know, because I probably slip up and say something wrong, <laughs> but their minds are so different. So I think a lot of cartoons are geared towards adults. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, you are part Irish too, Tracy? <gasps> Really, Cheryl? So my dad's also American Indian. Uh, we're Choctaw Indian. And uh, I guess we could, you know, um, be a part of the reservation and register. Wow, that's that's a 20%. That's pretty big, Tracy. It is amazing to find out what you are, what your 
why you look the way you do, why you have certain features. It's so amazing, isn't it? And I love that we are a little bit of Indian. Um, and then we have uh, all these other things mixed in. And 80% uh, Scandinavian. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's really incredible. That's super cool. I wonder if your family knows my family <laughs> in the Netherlands. Oh, that's so nice, Denise. Yeah. So everyone that's on here, Granny Josie, Holiday Cookie Diva, Davida Lane, Glue Guns and Roses. Um, who else is on here? Uh, okay, well, um, who else? Soon Cheryl will have her own channel, but you guys subscribe to each other. Wow, Maria. Oh, you have such an interesting background. Everyone thinks that I'm either like Greek or Italian, something Mediterranean. Um, oh, wow, Norwegian. That's awesome. I know they don't have great records. So, oh, my hair. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I do color my hair. Okay, <laughs> let me talk about this for a second. <laughs> um, so I use all cruelty-free products that I possibly can, um, especially like um, for my makeup and my hair care and all of that. So I have a lot of gray, as you guys can see, but when I went to this lighter color, I knew that it was going to blend like highlights, which was amazing. And, um, oh, thank you, Javita. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I got to cut my hair. It's become really stringy lately because um, once it gets to a certain length, they just get stringy. So I have to cut like four to six inches off. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to color my hair. I have too much gray. Um, so I use a product called nature tint and I do not test on animals. Um, oh, thank you, Maria. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm really fair. So I do burn super easy, but the weird thing about my skin is I'm fair, but I have like this weird olive skin tone underneath. I can't quite describe it, but I do... Um, okay, so I'm 46, but I got gray in like my 20s and it's just gotten worse and worse, but, um, it's mainly like around the, it's not, it's mainly around the frame of my face. And, um, <laughs> so I, I was going darker, but I like dark hair. I really, really do. I used to have highlights like all for years and years. And before that I was Gothic and, um, I was a goth girl for years, black hair, dyed it with like blue tips, you name it, I've done it, I'm an old goth kid. And um, so I switched it up, I, at some point I changed and I, I don't know what, you know, you grow up and you do things different. And I started getting a little more mainstream, I guess you want to call it. So I get, I got highlights. Well, I did highlights for so many years. I, I forgot. Um, my hair has been every color too. <laughs> and the blonde helps to do the roots. I know it does. Oh my gosh, you guys. My goth pictures are so funny. But um, <sighs> They're hilarious. I mean, my sister and I both were goth kids. You know, we we loved the music. We loved the places we would go. And in, in Europe, I mean, I don't know. It's different in Europe. So they, like, really liked us. And they thought we were super cool. I'm like, oh, we're really not. But okay. <laughs> um, we had uh, dyed our hair black for many, many years. And then um, so recently after I had been highlighting my hair for so many years, I decided to finally, um, oh gosh, Cheryl, I don't know if I want to share those ones, but I do have a few. Um, I decided to go dark again because I really liked the darker hair. And um, yeah, 
That's how I feel, Maria. I feel like I have these um, Frankenstein wife's, you know, stripes. My mom had them too. And her hair was so beautiful though. It's like this thick auburn color, but you could really see these stripes. And uh, so <laughs> my hair is the same way. And, um, oh, it is Cheryl? Okay, so my hair is, what is it? It's called an ash brown. And <laughs> I wish, I'm kind of rocking the stripes right now. I don't know if you guys can see them, but it looks more like um, highlights. So I'm like, okay, good, it's working for me. But my natural hair color is ash brown and I don't really like it. It's, it's not dark brown, it's not a medium brown. It has this weird tinge to it and I don't like it. And so I've always kind of colored it. So um, I decided to go, if I had natural auburn hair, I would love it. And I would probably keep my natural white in it. Um, but yeah, Hannah will do that. I figured that part out. Cause my mom used to use that. She tried it, she's like, don't use it. Um, so I tried this product, it's called Nature Tint. You can get it on walmart.com. Now, if you live in California, you can't buy it. They used to sell it. Um, you can get it on thrive.com or Amazon, excuse me. Um, and it's, it's awesome because they don't test on animals. And if you're gonna do your hair at home, these are great products. So Nature Tint is a name and um it doesn't you can't it doesn't um you don't get that strong smell and it doesn't burn your scalp you know what i mean oh my gosh it's so great i love it so i did my hair over a month ago maybe two months ago but my hair grows really fast and so i have to do it again so i was debating do i choose the same color because it might get lighter and I don't want it necessarily be too, too light. I want it to be like an auburn -y color. So every time I went dark, you could see my gray like within a week or so. And I was just like, gosh, what's the point of this, you know? Or two weeks, you'd see it. And so that's why I decided to go a little bit lighter. And um, I do, I do like the color. Um, I don't know if you can, it, cause I used to be <laughs> like a blonde, highlighted person for many years. So the color, it's not bad. It's just that it grows out so quickly because my hair grows so fast. Oh, Dow, you're still a youngie. We're all young. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I do cut about four to six inches off. So I'm probably gonna cut it to about here just to get rid of like, you know, all of the product hair. Um, Josie, what do you do with your hair? Do you, it's not old for sure. 50 is not old. 70 is not old. 75 is not old. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it kind of gets weird and stringy at a certain length. So that's why I just want to chop it off and then let it be, um, you know, it gets like fuller. Oh, you color every six weeks. That's a that's a good idea. Yeah, I I guess I should probably try to do that. Um, oops, hold on, guys. Let me plug this in. Hold on. Oops, there we go. Okay. Um, so that's the one thing that I like to use is Nature Tint, and it's all it's natural. It's plant based. And um, it's, they don't test on animals. Another thing that I use is all um, animal cruelty-free facial products. So my moisturizer, my makeup, everything is cruelty-free. I used to be a makeup artist for years, all through college and then after my divorce. And so I really don't like wearing makeup to be quite honest, but um, you know, a little bit's okay. Exactly. I would not trade my years of wisdom for anything. Every year is a blessing that I've learned so much more in that following year. And I'm so grateful for it. 
You know, it's not something that you can trade in. It's not like a new car. It's like something gained and it never, ever leaves you. Um, so I'm going to show you guys like uh, I don't wear a whole lot of makeup, but I do do a little bit of eye and I have to fill in my eyebrows because, <laughs> because they got blown off by my barbecue actually. <laughs> but um, so as you can see, I don't do a whole, whole lot. But I do, um, uh, what do I do? So I put moisturizer, I do blush, I do um, my eyebrows, and I do some eyeliner, and then I put a little mascara. And that's it. Um, I feel like the less you wear, the better. And if your skin... Um, if your skin looks good, your makeup is gonna look good. You know, I'm 46, so I'm gonna have wrinkles. I'm gonna have crow's feet. I'm gonna get all of that. I'm gonna get white hair, but you just work with it and that's it, you know. Um, I'm lazy too. <laughs> it changes, oh great. I. My skin used to be so different, Tracy. Oh my God, my skin was like porcelain, uh, never had a blemish, it was spotless. But as we get older, um, you get, I guess when you get sun damage from like, I, I never really went into the sun, but what happens is when you do get sunburned those few times, and I can remember falling asleep on the beach of Hawaii for three hours, I was 17, same burns that I got, I can now see on my forehead and my arm. But it is what it is. They come out and that's just how I get acne now too. It's weird. And I'm like, I'm going to be close to 50. Why am I getting acne? Sakes. But I never had it as a teenager, but now I will get it. And, um, I didn't either as a teen, but I don't leave it alone either. Like I keep messing with it, keep messing it because I just want to get everything out and then just scrub it. And sometimes it helps, not always though. So. Yeah, see, Davida, I could not go, <laughs> I could not hang with you if we were teenagers together because, um, I, I get burned and I, I hated laying out. That was like my least favorite thing. I love going to the beach, but I was in the water and I hated laying out. I don't know if you like to lay out, but oh goodness, my sister did and my friend that passed away did. And ugh, I get hot and I get sweaty and I get burned. And so I just hated doing that. But um, I like being in the water, I like snorkeling, I like swimming, and I was a marine biology major, so. Oh, hi, Miss V. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. So the other products that I use from the Dollar Tree, I will talk in a separate video about it, but it's all items that I have that are... <laughs> <laughs> Davida, you're so funny. <laughs> um, <clears throat> See, I never wore, I never laid out, Cheryl. I mean, I would just burn to a crisp. I mean, even my when I had my hair braided, because I was always wear would wear it in like a French braid when I was younger. I loved because it just kept my hair out of my face. Um, yeah. Oh, I, okay. Good. I'm glad you're looking forward to it because everything is from the Dollar Tree and it's all animal cruelty free. And, um, but when I was younger, I could not stay in the sun. I would just burn to a crisp. But, um, so everything that I use is Dollar Tree items and, um, cruelty free. And like I said, I'm an ex makeup artist. That's how I put myself through, um, college and, um, I wish I could get dark. Oh my God, I wish I, would, I could get tan. And so, uh, oh wow, Kit. Um, yeah, lupus, you can't take much sun. That's so true, Dow. Um, it's not really good for us anyways. You can get glaucoma. 
you could a lot of skin, you know, cancer and everything. But um, I buy everything from the Dollar Tree. My moisturizer, and I used to spend, I remember when I worked in the industry, um, so they had, you know, our creams. We would get a lot of things for free, but still we would spend more money and buy from other uh, counters, you know, like Shiseido or Lancome. I've worked for Lancome, Shiseido, um, Estee Lauder, and <laughs> that's good, Maria, you should. It's really important that we protect our skin. Um, yeah, I, I never worked for um, Clinique, but um, I did, so Estee Lauder, Lancome, Shiseido, Oh, and um, Laura Mercier. So those, all of those. So the moisturizer that I use now, I wish I had it down here. Let me see if I have my purse. No, I don't. I, I don't carry makeup with me in my purse because I usually just kind of get ready and then I go. But um, it's, the, it's a tube you can get at the Dollar Tree. It's next to the hand cream that you can get. And... Um, it just says facial cream and if you look on the back that has the bunny and it says cruelty free it works really good I have to say it absorbs very nicely um, I think it has a little vitamin E in it regardless if you put moisture on your face that's gonna help and um, yeah it's in a little tube about this big and it lasts for a long time it's a dollar and I use that day and the night. Our skin does something different at night than it does during the day. But as long as you clean your face before you go to bed and then you put a moisturizer on, it does not have to be a nighttime moisturizer. Just put a moisturizer on because your skin is trying to repair itself at night. So I know a lot of friends that still use, um, and I do this too, I'll put coconut oil on my face or when I'm out of coconut oil, I'll do um, olive oil. And that works really nicely. I prefer coconut oil. It works really great. I love Clarence. Oh, yeah. I used to help out with Clarence a lot because um, they never had enough staff <laughs> to staff it, the, um, their counter. You shouldn't, yeah. And you know, for many years I did not moisturize. And I didn't moisturize because I just didn't care. I didn't care, I was going through depression. I didn't care about my face, I didn't care about what I ate. I just didn't care. But that was after my mom passed away and I just didn't care. And so now having, I know Tracy, it's so, I'm so glad you're on here. <laughs> You guys, I love Tracy. I love your laugh. It makes me so happy. And I know Davida makes her happy too. Um, so I, um, I didn't do a lot for myself actually, but you know, when I would put moisturizer on it would like immediately soak in because I hadn't took care of my skin for quite a few years. I was so busy with my mom and I just didn't care. And then she passed away. I still didn't care. But I think what helped me was staying out of the sun when I was younger. And then um, I'm catching up now. So the damage is done. What I have is what I have and you just have to work with it. And um, water, drinking lots of water and moisturizing. Um, those things really help someone's skin. And staying out of the sun. I mean, that's like the best thing. So. I try to do that. And Tracy, I watched your video on um, your dump cake because I haven't done that video yet. I feel so bad. I haven't done it, but I'm going to do it. A treat for uh, Halloween. I watched your video and I thought, oh my gosh. And uh, how awesome because I don't eat regular sugar either. I eat coconut sugar, date sugar, and cane sugar not processed cane sugar which would be the white sugar so um yeah all those sugars are really wonderful i do bake with them and you you know how you said you were worried about like it getting dried out or whatever so instead of like using eggs or um 
what's the other thing? Mealy eggs or butter, you can substitute them for a mashed banana and or applesauce. So I think it's half a banana per egg and um, a quarter cup of applesauce per egg or two tablespoons of butter. Yeah, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. So I'm gonna get back on the train of health again and um, that's why I keep drinking my ugly green tea. I gave up candy and all sweets. Wow, Josie, I commend you. You don't, Cheryl? So you don't eat pizza, I'm assuming. <laughs> that's my downfall. Oh, chia seeds are a great egg substitute, Maria, really? I didn't know that. Okay, so good fact here. So as you guys know, you lost 40 pounds. Oh my goodness, I need to do this. I was a science major, and so um, there's a lot of things that I learned, you know. Um, when you soak your seeds, meaning chia seeds, uh, sesame seeds, whatever seeds that you're going to be consuming, right? And, oh, thank you, Dal. No pizza. Uh, I just had pizza last night. Um, <laughs> so that's when you, your seeds are doing a double duty for you. So you're actually getting the benefits of the seeds. They're going through a photosynthesis process. So they're giving you more power to you and they're more they're better for you. They're like a high energy seed. They're going through this amazing process of photosynthesis and you get the benefits from, um, uh oh, there's a T-R-O-L-S. Can you guys get rid of? Uh, anyways. What about cauliflower crust pizza? That sounds awesome. Yes. So when you soak your seeds, right, what happens is they go through photosynthesis process and you get all these benefits. And so chia seeds turn gelatinous. And so if you soak them in your yogurt, maybe overnight, you use them and put them in your smoothie or whatever. Um, I love it. It tastes so good. And they add like a different texture to your smoothies or whatever. They're so delicious, but they're adding as an extra benefit to your health. Also having gone through, um, you know, like a photosynthesis process. <clears throat> super good. Super, super, super good. The other thing is coconut flour. Uh, <laughs> coconut flour is really good. Thank you, Kit. Um, Coconut flour, almond flour, which Tracy used for her dump cake, which was looked really good. Um, I use pumpkin also. Thank you, Josie. Um, I use pumpkin also. It's really good for inflammation. So um, I eat cauliflower mashed potatoes too. That's so good because I don't like regular potatoes. I, I don't find them tasty. Um, but if you use pumpkin, like Tracy does, she keeps pumpkin in her cupboard very often. Um, you can give it to your dogs. You can, um, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, thank you, Davida. If you use your pumpkin, you can, it's good for your inflammation for yourself or your dog. So if they have arthritis, it's good for bacterial fighting, um, oh, really? I'm going to have to try that, Maria. <laughs> you, you get him, Josie. Oh, sorry. I wish I could stick my dog on him. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Um, so it's really, uh, they're really good, those alternative flowers. And um, uh, and like not regular sugars, anything processed is really bad, like white sugar, white rice. Did you know that? Brown rice. Oh, there's another one. Um, <laughs> uh, brown rice is actually the shell of white rice. So when they go through the processing um, concept of they remove the shell of the brown rice and it's white rice. So that's why brown rice is better for you or brown jasmine rice is really good for you. So 
uh, yeah, so that's really, I'm so glad to see all of you like testing out different things and I'm back on it. Although my tenant and I had some, um, uh, pizza last night, we got it delivered. It wasn't even good. I thought, you know what, if I was back in Italy, I would totally love it. <laughs> But this was not good. I thought, I'm not going to order it ever again. So um, I probably won't order it. Even if he wants it, he can get it on his own. I'll just try, you know, I'll eat like my stuff. Um, oh, thank you, Cheryl. I feel sorry for these people, honestly. Um, but so, and <laughs> just like a child, I know need attention. So I will maybe do another video on like the Dollar Tree cruelty free makeup. And then also on my pumpkins that I'm going to be making for my sweater. And some I'm, I don't know, I might try the ticking stripe, see how that works out. I'll do that. And then I'm also going to do, um, I need to do a Halloween uh, dessert, which um, I haven't done yet. They do need to move on. It's pretty pathetic and sad. <laughs> what? I mean, come on, it's Saturday night, go do something. What What do you have to do to, to like bother some people on YouTube? Oh my gosh. But, um, so I'll be doing a DIY on that. And I want to say a very special thank you to Melanie Kate. Thank you, honey, so much for all the goodies that you sent me, I will be using each and everything. They were so thoughtful and um, I appreciate everything. And um, okay, sure, I'll definitely do it. Um, like I said, Melanie, I look forward to our collaboration coming up, whatever it may be. I know you had some ideas and I really need the distraction, so yes. Um, I will be looking forward to that. Oh, thank you, Maria. And Maria, you need to get onto Facebook because if you do get on Facebook Messenger, well, Facebook, and then you get onto Messenger, then you and I can talk and um, it's free. So try doing that because I already have Facebook. Um, and if you can do that, well, we can chat. Um, I know we're nine hours apart, I believe. So Call me as early as you need to. I'm up early, early. Um, so, um, but also, okay, good, 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 good. Because I want to hear how your interview went. I know you already told me, but um, I want to hear more details. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, I think the T-R-O-L-L-S's are waking up from their sleep bender and they're probably finally getting breakfast at this time of day. <laughs> and so it's probably safe to say we get off. But um, I love all of you. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. And that you are all blessed and um, have no worries. And the Lord takes all of that away from you as far as worries go or illnesses. And I pray for all of you that do have some illnesses or worries hanging over your head. Yeah, um, I know I hate to say goodbye also. Yes, yes. So Tracy, you need to get on to um, the Facebook Messenger so you and Davida can chat. And um, so... Guys, thank you so much for your lovely responses and for, um, I know I'm so behind. I'm sorry I had to take a little break from everything. And, but then I realized like, it was really hard for me to like even focus. And so uh, I apologize, but I feel like I'm back on track. Um, it's not gonna be an easy recovery, but I know I'm still living and I have to live and, um, communicate with everyone and so thank you for everyone for being there and your lovely comments and I I pray for anyone that needs prayers let me know if you have something in particular and I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful evening and it is almost six o'clock here in California and um I don't know what time it is in wherever you're at but thank you Josie <laughs> um 
I just hope that you guys are all fine and go take care of yourself. Go splurge on a pizza, go get some yogurt, go make a goodie and maybe substitute some ingredients and have a really nice evening. I will see you all later, um, probably next weekend, unless I do a live during the week. It'll probably be kind of early-ish. So um, I wish you all well. And thank you everyone for logging in. And thank you, Melanie Kate, so much. Thank you so much for all your goodies. I love you too, Davida. Oh, thank you, Kit. You're so wonderful. I love you all. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you for taking care of the trolls. <laughs>